Hello again, still Mr. Gamid, the teacher of English. Uh, in the previous video, we talked about we talked about uh, how to write a thesis statement. We have seen what is meant by a thesis statement. We have seen the importance of a thesis statement. It's the core of the essay. It's the backbone of your essay. It carries the main idea and it illustrates. Uh, it illustrates the method or the the method of development of your body paragraphs in your essay, and we have seen that uh, the thesis statement should be clear, concise, focused, and strong. All right, to to uh, to give a strong idea to give a strong idea to the reader of the importance of your essay. So your, uh, your, your thesis statement carries the main point, your main point that you wish to convey to the reader. And in the meantime, you try to, you try to uh, convince the reader of your main point of view. Uh, well, uh, you should not stop here. All right, it is not, um, it is not enough to have a good opening paragraph and then a good concluding paragraph. And then you have an asset satisfactory uh, development of the body of your essay. No, they all go hand in hand. Uh, after uh, after uh, writing a concise introductory paragraph and after uh, raising questions in the reader's mind about uh, about uh, about the main point discussed in your or the main idea discussed in your essay in your that will be discussed in your essay and after mapping out the uh, the road of your essay to the reader it is now time to fulfill what you have already promised uh, the reader of a writer. Now you have come to the book of your essay writing, developing the body paragraphs, developing the thesis statement in your body paragraphs, a writer. Uh, the body paragraphs is, let's say, uh, the body paragraph is where the real work relies. Uh, so in this part, it is, uh, it is, uh, in this part, it is very important to know that uh, it is the main parts of your writing, of your composition writing, where you present your thoughts, your thoughts, evidences, and your details. So the function, since it is important, the function of your body, of your essay's body, is to fully develop the argument outlined in the introduction. How? Suppose you're writing an essay on the causes of global warming. That's good. In your thesis statement, you have stated five elements or items to be developed in the body, in the body paragraph. So according to you, according to your point of view, global warming has five causes. You should not stop here. You should move to write, you should move to expand those items or those elements or those causes in the body paragraph, in the body paragraphs of your essay. Okay, so you have outlined that global warming, uh, the causes of uh, global warming has five causes. Cause number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Now it is time to develop, to expand those ideas, those items into the body paragraphs, explaining them with uh, strong evidences, details, so that to convince the reader of your main point of view, all right? 
So it make uh, the fact also the function, the function of the major fun uh, there is another important function of the uh, of the essays body of the essays body paragraphs is that this part of the essay makes a connection between the thesis statement, between the items or the points listed in the thesis statement and uh, how they are expect how they are uh, developed in law uh, developed in a way of for the purpose of developing or enlarging or expanding your essay so uh, an appropriate use of paragraphs is an essential part of writing a coherent and well structured essays i will uh, i repeat again I repeat again, uh, or I go back to what I have already uh, uh, stated before uh, about the importance of essay outline. So when you have an essay outline, you make sure what main ideas, what supporting ideas, and what supporting details that are necessary in developing your body paragraph because suppose that suppose uh, 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 sorry, remember that you uh, you have to write a well-structured essay you want to succeed with writing your composition so you have to outline well all right so outlining and listing the main ideas supporting ideas and supporting details helps you uh, use or write appropriate paragraphs. All right. Of course, uh, paragraphs, developing uh, body paragraphs is one of the means by which you uh, you uh, you give or you provide the reader with the materials so that he feels the flow of ideas from one paragraph to another as you have present as you have present uh, as you have presented them all right okay after uh, outlining after uh, outlining and after gaining the readers interest in the introduction uh, with a strong thesis statement now it is your task to let's say holding his attention with substantial interesting and compelling ideas that support illustrate and expand the thesis statements of your essay remember each body paragraph should introduce introduce a new idea for example if you have listed for example the causes of global warming you have uh, listed five causes each paragraph should develop one cause, a cause or one cause which is different from the other. All right. And there is uh, something very, uh, very, uh, very important, a mistake to avoid. Uh, when writing an essay about the causes of global warming, you list in the thesis statement, you list the causes. Cause number one, then cause number two, then three, then four and five. In the body paragraph, in the body paragraphs, you should respect. You should respect the listing of the ideas or the causes in your thesis statement. You should never start with all right, one, two, three, four, five, and then in the first body paragraph you start with five, with this, uh, with the fifth cause, and then you move to the third, and then no, you should respect when writing your body paragraphs you should respect the items listed in your thesis statement cause number one body paragraph number one should expand or talk about or illustrate cause number one and then you move to two and then you move to three and then you move to four and then you finish with the fifth cause all right uh, each paragraph within the body should elaborate 
only one major point in the development of the overall argument. All right. So, in a body, in, uh, uh, as I've already said, uh, 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 in each body paragraph, in each body paragraph in the body of your essay, in each paragraph in the body of your essay, you should only talk about one main point, which is part of the uh, thesis statement, which is part of your thesis uh, uh, statement. Of course, uh, if we see the uh, the, the uh, figure below, figure, figure in front of us. Uh, I've already, uh, I've already said. So the form of your essay is, as you see, the form of your essay looks like what is uh, illustrated, what, it, what is really illustrated in the uh, figure, in the uh, figure uh, in front of us. So there is an introduction, there is a conclusion, and in between there is. <laughs> Sorry. So there is an introduction and there is a conclusion and in between there is uh, there sorry uh, there is the main body uh, section which contains the development of the body paragraphs. As I've already said, it looks like a funnel. Right, introduction and conclusion looks like a funnel. I've, I've already said that. this is the uh, figure representing your essay. So I say starts with the main, main uh, with the, with the general, then ending with the specific. Then in the body paragraphs, we did, we we analyze the specific, we discuss the specific, and then from the specific in the conclusion we go back to the general so this uh, this is the form of your essay and remember what i have already said your essay is cyclic you started with uh, you started with uh, general idea with general idea ideas with general idea so when you develop and you analyze and you discuss your essay you end up with you end up your essay going back to uh, going back to the uh, going back to the uh, the general ideas where you have already started. So every uh, every paragraph. All right. How should we write? Not what to write, but how how to uh, to structure our uh, paragraphs in the body. It's very easy. The way you write individual paragraphs is uh, is the same is as the same as developing or writing uh, body paragraphs in your essay uh, there is a topic sentence you start with the topic sentence the topic sentence should illustrate the main idea uh, the main idea of the paragraph then supporting sentences supporting sentences then you uh back up the topic sentence with supporting sentences given examples and details to expand the uh to expand the um, the uh, the main idea of the paragraph and then uh, a concluding sentence a concluding sentence serves a summary of what had been a summary of the main idea and a transition to what will what uh, what will be discussed in the next body paragraph so this is uh, let's say this is uh, the writing format of this is the structure of the writing format of uh, writing and uh, writing uh, body paragraphs uh, body, body paragraphs in your essay also i don't know if i have ah i have an example here i have an example here uh, of a body paragraph of an essay. You see here what is written in bold constitutes the topic sentence of the paragraph. So the topic sentence carries the main idea, carries one main idea illustrated in the thesis statement. Celebrity culture, celebrity cul culture is then a well-established feature of our mass media. All right, 
All the sentences written in italics represented written or represented in italics uh, are supporting sentences to expand or explain or fully explain the main idea of the uh, of uh, the main idea expressed in the topic sentence and then uh, the underlined sentence or sentences serve as a concluding sentence of the paragraph of the body paragraph and a transition or uh, informing about what what comes after what comes next in the next in the second or in the next body paragraph all right uh, something very important something very uh, something very important is that uh, uh, regardless of the topics of your essays regardless of the methods of uh, development uh, the bodies of the bodies of essays share two common features there is a plan they, they yeah um, if we review the bodies of the body or uh, the bodies of essays paragraphs we gotta see that they share two things in common or two features in common there is a plan of organization all right i mean the way of writing uh, the way uh, the structure of writing is the same each body paragraph regardless of the topic regardless of the method of organization or development used each uh, 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 each are written in the same uh, respect uh, sorry respect the same structure of starting with the topic sentence then backing up or supporting the topic sentence with supporting sentences and then we end up with uh, a concluding sentence and there is a means of moving uh, between different levels of ab uh, abstraction, right? We move from general to specific ideas in our uh, body paragraphs. The topic sen sentence, topic sentence of the body paragraph uh, uh, illustrates the general idea, and then this general idea is specified with details is supported with details and uh, with details and examples all right remember to only deal with remember to deal with only uh, one main point in each body paragraph all right no need to pack up no need to include a lot of ideas or a lot of points in your paragraph because in this way acting in this way you will confuse the reader and you will be in danger of destroying the writing of your composition so don't pack everything everything uh, in your in only one single paragraph all right good all right uh, the structure of the essay all right the structure of the essay is is uh, is uh, is very important to know so the structure is the is uh, uh, the structure of writing body paragraphs is the same i mean we start with topic sentence then we support the topic sentence with supporting detail supporting sentences carrying details, examples, and so on, and then a concluding sentence to conclude the main idea and uh, serves as a transition to what will be next. All right. Uh, when writing, before we start writing our, before we start writing our uh, body paragraphs, expanding the thesis statements in our, in our, uh, in our essay by, uh, by uh, including body uh, paragraphs or writing body paragraphs, we have to think about the method, the method of organizing our body paragraphs. So organization, organizing, organization of 
the barrier paragraphs is important for two major reasons. It helps your reader understand that there is a connection between your thesis statement stated in the introductory paragraph and the details that you are going to, that you are going to, let's say, serve in the in writing the body paragraphs. Also, the organization helps you write your essay, comp your composition in the first place. All right. Uh, so planning on a method of organizing your essay helps you determine how to write it. All right. If a clear thesis, all right, if a clear thesis gives your essay purpose and direction, uh, choosing a pattern of organization uh, will, let's say, will make, will make, will, uh, will, will make it easier for you to look for the necessary support to write and to develop and expand your thesis. Uh, something very, uh, something very uh, important. Uh, it is not important, right? When brainstorming our ideas into an outline, we have or we need, we need as writer as novice writers, we need the formality of organization to help ourselves put our ideas together into a coherent pattern. So choosing the best matter, the best method of, or the appropriate method of organizing the body of your essay really helps you achieve coherence in writing your essay, your composition, or the body paragraphs of your essay. So organizing uh, your body per organizing before you start writing your uh, your body paragraphs uh, really uh, really helps you clarify, analyze, and draft your ideas and your thoughts uh, clearly. All right. So remember. Uh, the method of, excuse me, the method of organizing and choosing the best, the appropriate method. So choosing the appropriate method uh, always goes after choosing the topic, after choosing the topic, after choosing and limiting the topic, after uh, choosing or writing a strong clear thesis, thesis statement. Now it's time to choose the method of organization. So writing the thesis, the way you write your thesis statement in your introductory paragraph of the essay really helps determine helps the reader determine which method you are going to rely on to develop your body paragraphs or maybe uh, if it is an assignment homework or or an exam so uh, the assignment gives you gives you the, the gives you uh the gives you the uh, the method all right like compare and contrast between the causes and effects of the second world war and so on uh define linguistics and so on all right so what are the best all right what are the appropriate what are the available sorry methods of organization the method uh, uh, that not writers rely on to write their essay assignments. Uh, we can rely on time order, a method of organization like time order. So time order, you separate or you divide, you really divide, you really divide uh, the subject of your essay into major stages of time okay a definition another method is definition so in defining your uh, essay topic or essay subject you're to explain the term or the topic by situating the term into a class of objects or concepts to which the term belongs 
and then enumerate all the differentiating characteristics that distinguish it, distinguish it from all others of its class. All right. Then we have classification. So in, class, in classification, we divide the major, the material of the subject of our essay into major categories. And we distinguish between uh, the different categories by explaining uh by explaining them by explaining each each of them and showing how each is different from each category is different from the other cause effect here we in using this method we indicate the causal relationship between the things and or events that are relevant to our essay topic Comparison and contrast, another method which is used. Uh, it involves, let's say, uh, lining up related ideas for a detailed account of similarities and differences. Uh, we rely on, all right, we, 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 uh, we, uh, we show the similarities and the differences related to our subject. Or the subject of, or subject of, to a matter of subject which is a matter of discussion in our essay. Then we have order of increasing or decreasing importance. So here uh, we organize using we organize our uh, let's say we organize the writing of our body paragraphs taking into account to taken into account to, let's say, organize the subject under discussion in our essay, uh, whether moving from the most important to the least or from the least to the most, all right? All right, uh, in writing our, uh, in developing our uh, essays, body paragraphs uh, we should take into account uh, to keep unity and coherence in writing our uh, body paragraphs uh, to be uh, to be successful to achieve success in writing our composition uh, unity means all ideas i mean main ideas supporting supporting ideas and uh, supporting details are connected to our thesis statement. All right. This is unity. It means from the thesis statement, we divide the thesis statement into main ideas. Then the main ideas are divided in their turn into uh, supporting ideas. And then the supporting ideas are divided in them, themselves into, uh, in their turn into uh supporting details all related to or connected to the thesis statement all right uh the main ideas supporting ideas and supporting details uh the biological mother is the thesis statement all right uh what is meant by coherence coherence means that uh, the ideas are arranged in a clear and logical order so that the reader can easily understand the main points of the essay. In order to achieve coherence, we should rely on the following uh, tips and uh, techniques. We have to choose the appropriate type of organization, I mean the method of organization of our body, and we have to uh, we have also to uh, to rely on cohesive devices, uh, which are words and phrases that connect sentences and paragraphs together, creating a smooth flow of ideas. So cohesive devices uh, uh, can be transition words and uh, phrases. All right, that we use connectors, uh, phrases of ex, uh, showing, comparison, contrast, 
cause effect chronology and so on uh, pronoun references all right so we use pronoun references to uh, let's say avoid repetition of the same of the same of the necessary necessary words in uh, in the main idea all right as you see here in the in the paragraph in front of us the paragraph describes barcelona so barcelona as as a part of the uh, as a part of the uh, of uh, as a necessary word as a necessary word in uh, in our main in our main idea or in our topic sentence is not repeated along the paragraph you see it is it is replaced by pronoun references uh, barcelona spain seconds spain's second biggest city and the capital of catalonia is a popular tourist attraction for several reasons uh, Although it is, it is only, uh, it has a clean, efficient underground system. Uh, then we have its oldest buildings, its Catalan heritage. They speak the people or the citizens of Barcelona. Uh, and then all of this makes Barcelona a great place to visit. And then we have, there is another, uh, uh, another way of achieve, uh, of using, of achieving coherence is using repetition of key ideas. Sometimes when writing your essay, you feel that it is necessary to repeat uh, the necessary necessary words of the topic sentence in your body paragraph, but in other words, in, but in other words, as you see the example here, liberal conservative conservative labels. Uh, we have liberal conservative conservative liberal conservative left and right, right. So left and right uh, 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 serves a repetition of the previous idea, the previous words of liberal conservatives. Then we have French and Francis. Then we have rightist and leftist. Then we have ideological positions. Then we have left, right. A system of classifying political philosophies. Uh, and so on. So all these uh, serve as uh, cohesive devices that we use or we should take into consideration when writing our when writing our uh, or developing our body uh, paragraphs. Uh, that's all for uh, this video. Uh, for the next video, I'll be talking about and lecturing on the uh, concluding paragraph and also giving you tips on how to succeed with your essay writing. I'll be very happy to uh, receive your inquiries, your questions or your comments on my email.